गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ सोफी गुगल फ्रॉम सम शक्ति विद्या निकल मालर डूरिंग द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ जनरल साइंस वी आर वी डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट यूजेस ऑफ द गैसेज विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द एयर इट इंक्लूड्स नाइट्रोजन देन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड देन इनर गैसेज लाइक ऑर्गन हेलियम न्यूनॉन इलेक्ट्रॉन जेनॉन एक्सेट्रा और ऑल द यूजेस आर फॉर ह्यूमन beings okay so and we also discuss about the air pollution okay which factors are responsible for air pollution now tell me which are the different gases which are uh, means which which are harmful uh, which are released from the air pollution okay these are nitrogen dioxide carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide these four gases are emitted in more quantity from the air pollution okay before we are going to start our next point one point remains which is on your page number 2 of the textbook that is always remember now what is given the information is like this the living world on the earth is sustained due to the balance between various gases and other constituent of air <coughs> now we have already discussed different layers of the atmosphere these are troposphere stratosphere ionosphere okay ecosphere etc these are the layers of the atmosphere from this means there are different gases are present in different layers of the atmosphere okay so this mixing of gases they constitute now it is called as filter of filter of the atmosphere means now you know that some harmful radiation that comes from the sun we are, we are going to learn this in the few minutes okay some harmful radiation like ultraviolet radiation then infrared radiation are released from the sun they are uh, they comes down side but the, this mixture of gases they prevent the this radiation to reach the earth okay means they Uh, absorb this radiation. Therefore, our life is protected. Okay, so these radiations are harmful for the human beings. So these radiations get absorbed by the layers of the atmosphere in the form of the mix mixture of gases. Okay, so therefore atmosphere is said to be the filter of air. Okay, means harmful radiations from the sun they get absorbed. in the atmosphere and useful radiation sources uh, to the earth okay so <coughs> this uh, constituents includes fog clouds snow and rain from this uh, <coughs> constituent the harmful radiation are prevented to reach on the earth okay now next point ozone layer ozone layer now ozone layer is present at the upper part of the stratosphere okay which is the second layer of the atmosphere in that ozone layer is present now what is the importance of ozone layer we are going to learn in this lecture okay so there is a layer of ozone ozone is denoted by the symbol o3 okay now when we write oxygen we write like this o2 but ozone is written as o3 okay so ozone is the important gas which is present at the lower layer of the stratosphere okay and ozone layer is important for the survival of every life on the earth surface how ozone layer is important to us we are going to learn in this lecture okay so ozone is very important for the living things to have this layer of ozone at the high altitude around the earth now ozone is situated in the lower part of the stratosphere so the the, the layer is surround the earth around the stratosphere from this layer the harmful radiation from the sunlight ultraviolet rays and infrared uh, infrared rays they are absorbed by the ozone and due to this absorption of this harmful radiation by the ozone 
that radiations are not reached on the earth and therefore the life on the earth like all plants and animals as well as microorganisms they are protected from the ozone layer okay so ozone layer is very important for the protection against harmful radiations of the sun okay so we like the first point ozone gas i told you that ozone gas is present is present in the lower part of the stratosphere what is stratosphere stratosphere is the second layer of the atmosphere lower part of stratosphere okay then the second point now i already told you that ozone is important for what purpose important for protection against harmful ultraviolet rays which release from sun okay mean this harmful radiation like infrared radiation and ultraviolet radiation which are released from the sun they get absorbed by the ozone layer which is present at the lower part of the stratosphere so due to this absorption of these harmful gases like or harmful radiation infrared radiation and ultraviolet radiation they are not able to reach on the earth surface and therefore life of the living organisms gets protected okay then now so what is the use of ozone ozone absorbs harmful ultraviolet radiation radiation of rays from sun or release from sun release from sun so ozone is a important gas which protect the life of all living organisms from the earth earth sun means what if there is no ozone layer is present in the stratosphere then the life of living organism is not possible okay so the next point is that so ozone layer is destroyed by the chemical gases like carbon tetrachloride now this is very important point means this ozone gas is very important for the survival of the living organisms i have already told you that but when when this ozone layer get destroyed when there is a release of gas like carbon tetrachloride or chlorofluorocarbon okay which is released from the use of refrigerators as well as air conditioning okay so air conditioning so that means i request to all people or parents of the student that you should not use the refrigerators as well as air conditioner at home because due to these two equipment or devices at your home they are very harmful for the life of living organism because they release harmful gases like carbon tetrachloride and chlorofluorocarbon in the atmosphere and these two harmful gases which are released by the use of refrigerators as well as air conditioner air conditioners so <coughs> these gases are responsible to destroy or to reduce the ozone layer which is very important for the living things okay so it is very important point and i listen to all do not use the refrigerator as well as air condition as at your home okay the ozone layer
is destroyed by harmful gases like carbon dioxide methyl zinc and by the symbol ccl4 carbon dioxide and chloro chloro carbon it is denoted by cfc short form is cfc okay chloro chloro carbon so those are in this type by the harmful gases like carbon dioxide and chloro chloro carbon from where it comes it comes from the devices at your home like refrigerator and air conditioners this is from refrigerators and acs means air conditioner okay so everyone should prevent the use of refrigerators and air conditioner at home okay so because from these devices the harmful gas like chlorofluorocarbon as well as carbon tetrachloride are released and they, these are harmful to eliminate the ozone layer okay so therefore it is very important we should not use the air conditioner as well as refrigerators then next point now when this ozone layer uh, ozone layer is celebrated all over the world so 16th september that day is celebrated as ozone protection day means it is the responsible responsibility of each and every individual to protect the ozone layer and we take care for that so what is the most important responsibility of all the citizens of the world so everyone should ban the use of the refrigerator as well as air conditioner at home so 16th september is celebrated as Sixteen September is celebrated as <coughs> Ozone Protection Day. Ozone Protection Day all over the world. Okay. Then. <coughs> Now, on the page number three, there is one box is there. Do you know in metropolitan cities? Which are the metropolitan cities? Which cities are called as metropolitan cities? The cities which have more population, like Pune, Mumbai, then Nagpur, New Delhi. Okay. So these these are the large cities having more population of the people. So these are called as metropolitan cities. in metropolitan cities like mumbai pune nagpur different digital boards are displayed in the area where there is more traffic of the vehicles and there is a large population of the people in that case of heavy traffic to show the proportion of the various constituents of the air at that place okay in the book there is one picture also shown which gives the important information about the proportion of the gases and metropolitan cities like the gases carbon monoxide then nitrogen dioxide then uh, nitrogen dioxide like this okay all these harmful gases which are present in the atmosphere what is the quantity or which in which amount that gases are present it is displayed on the digital board in that metropolitan city from from that digital board we are able to know the amount of harmful gases which are present in the atmosphere of that particular place like mumbai or pune okay so that we we should take care to minimize the air pollution so for that there there are digital boards which are displayed on the metropolitan cities okay then one question is there on page number 3 give you your brain power what would have happened if there were no air on the earth? so it is very simple question you should 
think about it. What will happen if there is no air on the earth? What will happen? Now air is very important for the life of the living organisms on the earth. Why it is important? Because air is important for the respiration of all living organisms. So during the respiration we take oxygen gas and oxygen is important constituent of the air which is near about 21% of total air. Okay, so oxygen is important to us for the respiration. So we take oxygen in the lungs or in the body and from which we are able to survive. Each and every living organism is able to survive from that oxygen gas. Understand? So oxygen is very important for the survival of living organisms. So what is the answer? How you should try this answer? So if there is no air on the earth, there is no possibility or it is not possible to survive any living organism on the earth. Okay? So it is the answer of this question. Now, in the next lecture, we are going to learn the next resource water. Okay? Till this lecture means first four lectures are regarding the important natural resources or it is uh, regarding with the air. In the next lecture, we are going to start next natural resource that is water. Thank you.